I'm Jesse with RoofSnap. We've had a lot of customers lately asking us about using drones to do roof inspections and to capture high resolution images that we can import into RoofSnap Max and generate roof measurement reports from. So today we're going to fly fully autonomously with a DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. The Vision means that it comes with the camera. You can get these without the camera and of course install a GoPro or a camera of your choice on it. The Plus means that it comes with the gimbal pre-installed. Now, the gimbal isn't really that important for our needs for video stabilization, but we need it so that we can look straight down and get an image of the roof that we can use to create measurements with. We're also going to fly with an iPad so that we have a, a big view of exactly what the drone is seeing. And the standard controls, of course, we've got a case and an extra battery. This whole setup can be had, uh, without the iPad, of course, for under 1500 bucks. So let's go ahead and get set up and I'll show you how it flies. Now that we've got the drone all set up, it's sitting in the driveway ready to take off. We're going to just make sure everything looks good. We've got 11 GPS satellites locked on, so we should have a good stable flight here. And we're just going to tell it where to go. So I'm going to tap on the map here and tell it to go directly above this roof. I can move this pin around if I need to, but that looks pretty good. Let me tap on this and we're going to go up to, eh, let's say right around 300 feet. So 301 feet from its takeoff point. We'll say OK, and all I'm going to do to fly this thing is hit done and tell it to go. So let's go outside and we'll watch the drone. Ready to fly. We've checked our surroundings. There's no power lines or trees or anything in the way. So all we're going to do to take off is hit done and go. And we can see the thing start itself up and it's going to fly to that first waypoint. And there it goes. Step over in the shade while this is climbing. Now, as it's climbing, we're seeing exactly what the drone is seeing. And of course, I've got a pan control for the camera, so we're going to pan straight down. We're almost up to that preset altitude. I'm just going to tap the button to capture a screenshot. Let's get a couple of them for good measure. Okay, now that we've got a couple of screenshots, I'm just going to tell it to come home. Now it's directly above us, it's going to start descending. That's it. So it just took off with the push of a button. We captured a couple of screenshots, hit one more button to tell it to come home, and it landed within about five or ten feet of where it took off from. Now let's go take this thing inside, get the image, and import it into RoofSnap Max. Okay, we're back at the office. We pulled the SD card out of the drone. We went ahead and ran the image through Photoshop to use their lens correction tool. A lot of these drones have a fisheye lens in order to give them a wider field of view. Of course, that distorts the image. So to get accurate measurements, we want to make sure that we correct for that distortion. There's a lot of uh, apps out there that do the same thing. And of course, Photoshop has a tool built in. So I'm just going to go into the RoofSnap screen, tap Import, go to my camera roll, and I'm going to grab my corrected image off my camera roll. Zoom out and get the roof centered in the screen here for us. You can see what a high resolution image we have. I'll tap snap and start drawing. And the app is going to ask me to draw a line of a known distance in order to set scale. We went ahead and ran a tape measure on the back gutter. We know it's 55.5 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in order to set the scale. 
and tap accept. And now we can go into the roof snap and we're just going to trace over the lines of the roof just like we would in a normal aerial uh, image from Google. And that's it. If you have any questions, please let us know. We would love to hear from you.